is ESPN on ABC. here. We have an amazing show that I want you to check out. With me today is Zara. Now she plays Jax on the award-winning show I Shine Connect. In addition to that, we're going to have some really cool clips and I think we're going to have an awesome guest that I want you to check out. Today we're going to talk about fear and how it affects you. And it wouldn't be I Shine without some great music. So stay with me as we listen to Abigail Duhon. I retired my red lipstick cause you said you didn't like it I didn't wear my high heel shoes cause I couldn't be taller than you I didn't wanna lose my friends but now it's hard to even find a bitch you want it, ain't it? It's what you want it Till my own snare drum I miss me more I miss my own sheets in the bed I made up I forgot I had dreams, I forgot I had wings Forgot who I was before I ever kissed you Yeah, I thought I'd miss you But I miss me more And I turned them up to ten And then I played them all again I found my independence Can't believe I ever lost it What you wanted, ain't it? It's what you wanted I thought I'd miss you I thought it hurt me I thought I'd miss you Yeah, I thought I'd miss you But I miss me more I miss my own beat Till my own snare drum my own sheets in the bed I made up I forgot I had dreams, I forgot I had wings Forgot who I was before I ever kissed you Yeah, I thought I'd miss you But I miss me more
Hi, everyone. Today I have with me 11-year-old, almost 12, Zara. She plays Jax on the show I Shine Connect. Thanks for joining me. You're welcome. So tell me a little bit about how you got into the acting world. Well, I remember a few years ago, my dad used to bring me and my sisters down to the studio, and I watched them, and they looked like they were having really fun, the actors did. And so I wanted to try it out myself, and I really liked it. So. Yeah, so it's a joy that you're here now. Now, you played Jax. Tell me a little bit more about that character. Well, Jax is kind of this troublemaker. She's she's a brat, but um, mm -hmm. you never really know what she's going to do next. So she keeps us guessing, yeah. right? Now, are you a lot like her in real life? I mean, <laughs> well, I try not to be, but I think we all have those days. Oh, absolutely. I know that I'm a brat occasionally, yeah. right? Well, today we're going to talk a little bit about fear, something that I think we can all experience at some point. And we got some great clips, so why don't we take a look? Wow. They look really worried. Yeah, and it's just a drill. We have to do something to get their minds off of it. No. You're just a bunch of chickens. Oh, really? Not scared at all, Audrey? Nope. Got nerves of steel. Is that why you have this blinky boo? <laughs> <laughs> You've got a blinky boo? It's not a blinky boo. It's a transitional object. <laughs> well, whatever. We've got to do something to calm them down, Troy. Hold on, Mr. B. Hold on. I think I got this, all right? All right. All right, if everybody could uh, get up and gather around up here, I'd like to show you something on the video monitor. Uh, short people up front, tall people in the back. curly hair people, if you could help the straight hair people, that'd be great. Everybody ready? I'd like to show you something on the monitor. Enjoy. Tornado. Nothing strikes a fear in people like the sound of that word. The tornado will destroy everything. It'll destroy trees. It'll take your furniture and it'll split it in half. It'll destroy your big screen TV, DVD players, and toys. The tornado says, I don't care about what you collect because I'm going to destroy it. All right, now that concludes my presentation of the devastating, deadly, destructive tornadoes and low survival rates today. <laughs> that was a professional production, people. I worked for hours on that, Mr. B. That's not exactly what I had in mind, Troy. Seems like everyone has some fear at some point, right? Yes. Do you have a story about when you were fearful and you overcame it? Well, I remember one time I was walking up the stairs from praying with my sisters and my dad before I went to bed. So I'm usually the one that has to turn off the light and the stairs kind of go up and then the light, the light switch is like right by it. So there's a pretty long way to my room. So I'll turn off the lights and I'll run to my bed and I remember I, I had the covers and I covered them up in my head, acting like the covers would protect me somehow. So it made you feel safe once you were in there covering up. But at yeah. the top of the, the stairs where you're getting ready to turn off the lights, is there anything that you tell yourself to calm yourself down? Well, now I kind of tell myself this verse, which is Psalms 56, 11. It says that I trust in the Lord, so why should I fear? And so that kind of tells my brain that I don't need to fear because I trust the Lord and whatever does happen, then it's just all in the Lord's hands. And so when I'm, when I'm like walking up the stairs and I see that hallway, I always, I always tend to walk slower because I want Satan to see me kind of not be scared anymore. I don't want the enemy to win. I don't, I don't want to be scared either. So I just kind of walk slower and I tell my mind to calm down because everything's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. And it's reminding ourselves that God's ultimately in control. Well, thank you so much for sharing the story. That's what we want to do here today is share that we all experience fear at some point, right? Yeah. Well, stay tuned because we have a lot more that we're going to talk about when it comes to fear. Hi, guys. Today, I'll be reading to you Isaiah 41.10. It says, so do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. 
I'll uphold you with my righteous right hand. God is telling us in this verse that we don't have to be afraid. Even when we're overwhelmed with fear, He'll be there to strengthen us and help us. We just need to remind ourselves that He will be with us through it all. We'll be right back after this short break. Talking baseball, Klazuski, Campanella, talking baseball. The man and Bobby Fella, the scooter, the barber, and the nuke. They knew them all from Boston to Dubuque, especially Willie, Mickey, and the Duke. Say hey, say hey, say hey. It was Willie. The preceding message was furnished by Major League Baseball.